or bad? I think she's a very plain girl myself. I don't see what all the fuss is about. Do you? I reckon, I reckon, and we'll find this out, but I reckon probably, because she photographs so well, she's probably a little birdie sort of person in yeah. real life. I'm only joking, Penelope, if you're watching. No, anyway. She, she is. She's perfect on screen, isn't she? She's all right. <laughs> anyway, that's a bit later. First, though, with all the latest laughs and the weird and wacky stories from the world of the world wide web, rather, our internet expert, Ollie Mann. Hello. Ollie, yes, good morning. Hello. And locked you in a darkened room again to yeah. find us all this stuff. Uh, yes, and Penelope Cruz will be watching because I emailed her and asked her. Oh, Did great. She, she's a fan. So, she, yeah, yeah. You're like that, you and Penelope. <laughs> gorgeous, gorgeous. <laughs> but since I was last on the show, the internet has been a buzz with uh, talk about a sequel, uh, but not the new Batman movie, although there has been a lot of discussion about that as well. In fact, it's the sequel to the 2006 web video hit, Where the Hell is Matt? Uh, you may not be familiar with it, no. but uh, it, it, yes, it, where's, yes, where, I know that. Yes, I know that. There's a book about that and everything, isn't it? Well, it, it was a 29-year-old, as he was then, guy called Matt Harding from America, went round the world and basically filmed himself doing a silly dance in front of international monuments from Brooklyn oh, Bridge yes. uh, to uh, the Great Wall of China. Well, <laughs> it's taken two years to make the sequel, 14 months in the making, seven million people have seen it in a month. This is uh, where the hell is Matt, 2008. Ooh. Okay. Mm. with this guy, he, he, he did this funny little dance to entertain his uh, workers in the office that he worked in. Yeah. And they said, when you go travelling with your girlfriend, do the funny little dance thing, put it on a video and we'll all watch it and have a laugh. And his sister saw it and said, I bet other people would like to see that too. <laughs> Um, and before he knew it, 10 million viewers on YouTube, he had a special deal with a uh, chewing gum company who sponsored him to go around the world. I was just going to say, is, he, is anyone paying him to go around the world? Well, he's a, he's a sort of self-confessed deadbeat. He's a layabout. He does just enjoy travelling about. He's not getting paid great amounts of money, but yeah, the trip sponsored. And uh, he's now a uh, good thing because he's offsetting probably the biggest carbon footprint in the world. <laughs> <laughs> but he's now saying he wants to do some work for charity as well, give laptops to kids in Rwanda for his ah, exhibition. Good, good, uh, good. So, uh, yes, very jolly. Right. Okay. How quickly can you clap? Well, you know what? I'm one of those people who sits next to people at gigs and just hopes they do all the clapping for me. Like, I'll yes. just clap really weakly, and if they're going for it, I'll just let them get on with it. Do you know what I mean? The band aren't going to know. So I want to be sitting next to this guy when I go to my next gig. <laughs> His name, brilliantly, is Kent French. Uh, he's the world's fastest clapper, uh, and he can do, now hold on, let me get this right, 721 claps per minute, which is 14 claps oh, per second. Hurt. 14 yeah. a second? 40, That's I, not possible. I didn't believe it either. Let's see him going like the clappers. I think we'll go for 14 claps per second. 14 claps per second. How's he doing that? I don't think they're his hands. He... I think it's one of those clapping things, sh sticks that you shake. It is like yeah, one of those toys. <laughs> sticks, <laughs> sticks that you shake. Sticks that you shake. <laughs> Ooh. Oh my. That is, it is fairly impressive. I wouldn't want to get too close, actually. I haven't said I want to sit next to him in a gig. I'm a bit worried what could happen there. He's basically just doing that. He's going like the clappers. He certainly is. Now, our musical dogs that uh, we saw at the start. Oh, yes. Now, this is... I was searching for Glastonbury, because I didn't go this year, because I couldn't face the mud. So I went to a search engine, typed big in Glastonbury. Wuss. Big wuss, yeah. I admit it. Uh, I typed in Glastonbury, hoping to see some clips of the festival. Instead, came across a clip of a dog watching Glastonbury Festival <laughs> on telly, <laughs> which was itself a video response to a clip of another husky dog singing along to Gwen Stefani. And I have to say, the dogs dancing to Glastonbury was better than Glastonbury, and the dog singing to Gwen Stefani did sound better than Gwen Stefani. <laughs> <laughs> and here's the dog, here's not the Gwen. Dog. Okay. Here's the proof. Everybody's now going, ah, <laughs> to that. Amazing. I thought it might be a wire, right? But the dog really <laughs> changes rhythm. They, he plays like three different songs by the editors. You can it's bet incredible. your bottom dog. He'll be signed up. All yeah. around the country, there are animals of some description performing in some way watching us this morning or the theme music of this Howling. morning. Howling. If that's the case, <laughs> video them, let us know about it, get in touch with us, and, uh, and there we go. We're moving on to rabbits now. Rabbits, yes. Well, if those dogs aren't going to make it onto Britain's Got Talent 2009, uh, I think this rabbit's got a good chance. This is a rabbit who opens your mail for you, not email, sadly. Uh, but look at this, what oh, a trick. Every home should have one. not just eating the letter. Yeah, I don't know how good it is for the rabbit. Trimming the edge, look but, at that. But, but check this out, what's that, oh. like eight seconds, mm -hmm. and let mm -hmm. the letter's out. Although that habit... I'd rather have a letter opener myself. Yes, than, than the name. 
next rabbit. That habit is better than this rabbit. This is disgraceful, frankly. Disgraceful. This, this is just cheap laughs. I'm not, I'm not going to try to glorify this. I'm not going to tell you what, what happens. It's called Sadie Has No Manners. And there we go. <laughs> We can assure you actually no sound effects were added or animals harmed in the making of that film. That Just to prove it, it, here it is again. <laughs> a rabbit yeah. guffing on national are you television. Are you sure that's a rabbit? That's a big rabbit. <laughs> that's a very big noise from a little rabbit. It it's very childish, isn't it? But why does that always <laughs> come into You know, I hate that. <laughs> I hate crudity Windy like noises, that. Don't I hate you? that. And you always <laughs> laugh at things like that, which always, always amazes makes me. me laugh. It does. It does. It's very well, it childish. Shouldn't. <laughs> it's lavatory humour. <laughs> it's not funny. It's what not is clever. It about a rabbit? What is it the way you were brought up? What is it? Was that that happen in your household normally? Oh Did gosh! It? No, I didn't have rabbits. <laughs> Just humans. <laughs> <laughs> oh, anyway, Ollie. well, Ollie, we it. have to leave it there. What I mean, a great job you've got. <laughs>